And of course, CS2 is a, a preferred scenario by most of the players. Yeah, say. exactly. That's, that's uh, the reason I said I, it. I think it's half and half at this point. Already. Yeah. But, but yeah, of course, uh, PS2 and uh, Small Battle Fantasy Group uh, are the main starters of, of this game and are the main uh, uh, scenarios that you will, will see throughout uh, all the sets in, in the tournament. Uh, I don't know how it's a statistic, but probably uh, PS2 before Small Battlefield was the main the main scenario. Now we have uh, Small Battlefield. Thank you, Sakura, for that. Uh, but yeah, starting off strong, uh, the Ryu is already putting 35% of that Yoshi. Yeah, 35%, 48% already dealing a ton of damage right now here. Yolt starting to fight back a little bit more around that shield once again here. You can see King seeing a little bit more patient, trying to pick his shots a little like, closely now. There's the falling now, looking for the forward smash there already. Not really able to find too much success with it right again, but Yolt starting to fight back now. Trying to rack up as much percentage as possible. Beautiful patience from King here once again, and that is going to be an incredible punish. Not going to kill, however, this time, as Yolt is able to DI and survive for just that little bit longer. Yeah, but the next one, we won't be, we won't be that lucky. 40% uh, only on, the, on, that, uh, on that view already working out. Of course, uh, one of the things we, we haven't talked about Yoshi uh, is that he's really good at, uh, at, at chasing. When, yeah. when you're in a tech chase situation, uh, the down tilt kind of puts you in a in, in tumble uh, situation. The Nair as well, the falling Nair, also puts you in that spot. And uh, Yolt is slowly working his way up to, to the to the to even game again. Yeah, Yolt slowly, slowly working his way up once again. Has rage as well here, so any big hit can really help, you know, pretty much put you in that spot once again. Allows your character to get stronger, but it also puts you in a very bad situation because Ryu is a very strong character, can kill as well, and there it is. That Yoshi being put out of the picture. Now we have Ness and Roy left in the matchup. Once again here, looking for that forward air once more, looking for the down smash, but in fact, he's going to make it back to stage using that up B here. Yolt trying to find this kill. He's going to have to find it ASAP. Uh, I, I like how uh, how he switched a little bit. With, with, an, uh, with the Yoshi, he was a little bit more, uh, more passive, a little bit more defensive. And when he picked Ness, he would just faint out into into uh, into Rio. Of course, wanting wanting to get that stock as quick as possible, it's it's a good thing for for Yolt. But he cannot uh, be unaware of the of the cool view has. He can get the stock really quick. That's not going to be enough, and oh, that's going to be a fair. Oh, yeah, barely the, escaping. Using the focus, using the focus, you can basically tank any of the hits, and then coming back to stage with really smart stuff there coming out from King. 156 right now. Shakunetsu throwing out no extra damage, no extra hits coming out for the Ryu player once again. Looking for that forward air is Yolt struggling a little bit. That damage piling up ever so slightly, but the back throw is going to do it. That That is another stock taken out, and we are switching straight to Ken. It's, it's interesting because if you know how Ness works, uh, the upper, oh. The, oh, oh. Yeah, the same as Gandix. We saw the same from Gandix, but this can be very troublesome for the Ken and Nair. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, that's not that's it entirely, no. But 60% though. Yeah, 60% though. Nice little string there. Still alive. Yo, incredible DI. 95% right now. Risking a massive hit here. Will kill again. A very light character is Ness. I'll be using the PK. Thunder, brilliant parry up smash punish from the Ken. Incredible stuff there from King. If, if something, if there's something that def defines uh, the show domains is, is the, their ability of parrying kit. Yeah, absolutely. And then, and that was a very great awareness by the, by the, by, by King, by the Ocean player. Just knowing that Ness is going to burst option, uh, like a, a really aggressive, uh, a really aggressive option. Uh, the, of course, the Magnet being the one that uh, Gold chose for. But, Again, the parry to uh, be, uh, was uh, was incredible by King, and uh, Yolt is now at the, on his last stock. It's not over because he's very very close. Uh, it's only fifty percent uh, right, right now of deficit, and of course, uh, a Roy with rage is uh, something to, to be aware of. Uh, but but he needs to get the stock from Ken right now because he's facing Kasuya afterwards. As yeah, well. right. Falling up air comes out there. There's the focus once more here. Both players just trying to pick their shots very, very carefully right now. Tatsumaki goes through no punish. There's the up air once again, looking for another one. Potentially try to take the stock. He's got to do it now or never. There's the Nair still alive there. Incredible DI once again. King still in the fight right now. Makes it back up onto stage, looking for the forward air. Once again, no punish. There it is. There's the up and again. Once incredible DI. 168% right now here on King right now. is still alive in this matchup once more. It looks like it looks like Yol needed a little bit of rage on his deck to get the, those stocks. That's gonna oh, be uh, an upper. Yeah, yeah. uh, that's gonna be the stock. Only 80% on his deck. It's not too much. It's not too much to be honest. But Kazuya, of course, has a great power. He's got a uh, really high kill potential. So so Yol needs to be aware. Get those conversions already. 24%. That's gonna be very beneficial. Of course, uh, when you're fighting against Kazuya, you're gonna get hit a couple of times. You must be aware of just not to get hit by the things that kind of get you to stop. If there's any time to use that spacing and those disjoints, oh. right here, now would be the time, but unfortunately the Yolt falling victim to that incredibly fast forward tilt, that massive blast kick. 
King up one game. Yeah, he needed he needed that that, that F tilt. If not, the character would have been loved here. Both. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, he also needed a reflect, but that's just me. Oh know. yeah, we were talking about it yesterday. We can talk about it uh, again today if you want. Uh, we saw it in doubles. Katia just working really great in doubles, of course, uh, against Mega Man and uh, and that can do, of course. Uh, yeah. This character has a lot of a lot of uh, ability to to reflect projectiles and to surprise your opponent. But but yeah, uh, I think it's gonna be the Yoshi again. I heard I just uh, overheard the, the Yoshi coming back. So yeah, first game goes to King um, Yolt. Has been doing a really good job at keeping things kind of kind of fair and kind of yeah. kind of just even. But of course, uh, when when you're on a deficit against Kazuya and you have to be a little bit more aggressive, you leave a little bit more room for openings, and that the ocean plane has been uh, taking advantage of. Sure, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Once again, now game number two here. Again, King currently up 1-0 in this losers finals right now. To go either way at the moment. We're already trading some damage right now. 12% currently on Yolt as we start things off very, very strong. We're starting with Kazuya this time around, not Ryu. Well, let's see. Let's see how it works out for uh, for uh, for King. We saw we saw as well PayPal do that, uh, changing characters after winning a game. But of course, this was very even, and that's gonna be the stock. Oh goodness gracious! Four set, four point seven. Can can you think of like better ways of starting a Scott Star game? I mean, another zero to death would be interesting. So you know, <laughs> if, if, if Yolt can oh. bring out zero to death, an eye for an eye would absolutely be a fantastic way to do it. But it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case anytime soon. Comes out with the four throw there, looks to get the Ooh. down there. Yeah. Incredible stuff. The sour spot not really gonna hit, however, makes it back to stage, still alive there, and is looking to extend that combo. But every single time, King is able to make it out alive. I don't know how he survived that. I think that was the right option by by Yold. I think it was uh, a very very aggressive, but very very cool very cool uh, performance there. But uh, with that downer, of course, uh, that that's what that's what Yold wanted. But unfortunately for the Italian play, oh the turnaround down smash. Securing uh, King's first dog, and this is very interesting because we are uh, uh, out of Kazuya right now. So the the character kill potential that he has right now has uh, diminished a little bit. Of course, Ken and Rio, of course, uh, can get stocks really quickly as well. The reflect <laughs> kind of doing a little bit of damage. Uh, nice. Yo was expecting it. Yo was okay. Throw another one to me, and I show you that I'm capable of doing that. And with that, not not only you reflect it because you don't deal that much damage with it, but you also tell the opponent, "Hey, I've got this tool ready for you when you want to do it." When you want to do it, exactly. You know, I never really ever see anybody use that often. You don't really get the time to do it, so it's really nice to see that happen every now and again. Seems like Yolt seems a little bit more comfortable right now at the moment. Here has that magnet as well, just kind of moving around, looking for something nice little forward air coming out from uh, from King once again. Waiting it out ever so slightly. Oh, there. A little jab lock as well there. A little jab reset for you. Yeah, he wanted to F smash, but uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. threw the, the third hit uh, a Way little bit too early. Too so, too early. so the jab one two kind of came to the to the jab one two three, and uh, Yol couldn't uh, take advantage of that situation. But uh, we're we're seeing struggle way more with uh, with Yol in general. Yol has adapted to the way he plays, and the back throw is gonna be it. The rage kind of doing wonders for the Italian player. Yeah, looking super strong, looking for the DP, was waiting for a sort of jumping back, and there we go, King brings it down to last character apiece. This is Ken versus Roy. Big, big stuff right now here. If Yolt is able to bring this back, Tatsumaki Senbuki, a big, big piece of damage there once again, 19% at the moment right now. King making things look real hard for Yolt. Once again, spacing is going to be a massive thing here for Yolt if they're able to really use that space and keep things safe, basically they'll be able to guarantee themselves a little bit more time to build up some nice damage. Beautiful start there from that forward air. Wasn't able to get anything with the up air, unfortunately, to carry on the combo. And it's looking real dangerous right now. 51% already on Ken uh, spot. It's really complicated when you're ahead on game one, and then on game two, you get a little Play bit right of here. a counter. Right yeah. now, uh, Yolt is working his way up yeah. to uh, to uh, kill potential, probably with Roy, of course, uh, one of the characters that has, I'd say, arguably, uh, arguably one of the strongest skill moves, like the side B and uh, the short, uh, the short range of that sword is very, very strong. So uh, King has to be careful because uh, he likes to be in short range, but against Roy, he can be a double-edged sword. I agree. I agree. Comes the up air, falling up air once again, looking for the back air, gets the forward tilt here once more, looking for another forward tilt. There's a down tilt, down tilt once again. It's a side B here. 99% again with Rage. At the moment that he hits that Rage percentage, it's going to get even more dangerous. I'm telling you now, Dress. Yeah, but Yolt is working his way up to uh, this late game in a really good shape right now. We've seen Yolt almost getting it. Nice focus uh, by, by the part of King. Ooh. Get it, and that's not going to be the Shoryuken. 
I don't think he thought he will kill. I think I think he used that just to rack up a little bit of damage. The, the Nair almost getting the stock and the counter is That's gonna it. be enough. I think he's not gonna be able to get back to the stage. Really? Oh, I was wrong. Really? I had no idea. Okay, fair enough. Down smash coming out there once again. Both players just kind of pushing each other to the limit right now. Oh, it's no. It's a punish. And there's the up smash again, taking a little bit of time. Didn't want to, you know, overextend and then miss the punish there. King 2-0 currently on Yolt. Wow, that was that was a series of unfortunate events at the yeah, last start yeah, by yeah. both players. We see uh, Raven here, the winner of uh, yesterday's bracket, just cheering for his Ocean homie. And uh, King is up 2-0 against Jolt. Uh, kind of the showing Italian players one after another. Yeah, I mean, look, at, they were pushing each other to the limit, especially towards that last minute scramble as well. Could have gone any way, but it just takes one overextended hitbox or one really bad hit in order for a game to end in a specific way. Their King currently up 2-0. One more to move into that loser's finals. But Yolt isn't far behind. That momentum for Yolt has gone up significantly. And we've, we've seen uh, we've seen the Yoshi were better. Of course, he's starting off with Ness again. Uh, let, let's see if he works out for him. Of course, uh, last last game, he kind of lost his Ness also a little bit uh, quicker than he probably wanted. Because, uh, yeah, of course, his skill potential is incredible. So, yes, to be aware. But I, I was liking how... Uh, how uh, how King was using uh, the jump nair with uh, with again of course one of the best tools that the character has. Uh, I think it's it's not spoken enough because the, the, uh, Ken's nair is crazy. Ken's nair is an anti air. King can, can use it to just land as well, and it's got very little luck again catching the landing. <sighs> It's the second time we've seen this. Yeah, it is, the, it is, that is the second time that we did see that. Nice little wind fist coming out here from King, and that's going to take that very first stock. Once again, nice, good electric once more. Gets in there, looks for some extra extra damage, but wasn't able to find the follow-up. That shield saving Yolt at the perfect time here once more. What's the play here? Let's find out. Looking for a potential ledge trump situation. Wasn't able to get anything off of that. Looks at the forward air, looks at the back air. Trading a little bit more here. And King still alive at 96% right now. Looking for the bag, gets the chair. Has rage as well here, so all it takes is one grab. Ah, oh. okay. I don't know if that was a miss input or if it was trying to delay. I think I think he wanted to to delay it a little bit, and right. he got really low. Yeah. And unfortunately for him, lost the stock. Uh, it's interesting how because uh, Yolt has decided to save uh, Yoshi for last this time. Uh, let's see, let's see if the Roy is capable of doing work. Because of course, we saw him uh, working out really well in the second game, not being uh, for, uh, unfortunately for him, not being enough to, to secure that win. But but. Uh, we're talking about a, a pretty even game. We we saw uh, Yolt also using Yoshi to a high level, so it's gonna be interesting the end of this game. Absolutely. Looking for the side uh, be there. Good use of the focus at the perfect time again. Just kind of falling out of the way, so it fell in place and nicely for King. He was able to get a little bit more damage once more. Looking for the tech chase, wasn't able to find it once more. Here we go. Yeah. King still alive here. Nice. For the lot. Yeah. Far edge guard there. Nice forward there coming out from Yolt and Yolt. Sorry. And now they're in for, uh, ahead going to the Aves <laughs> to get that stock, but it is what uh, you what, you, what you needed, and he knew uh, he was able to get back, and right now I see King in a little bit more trouble. Of course, the, the Hadouken just kind of getting him out of trouble, but of course, 39% against against Joe with rage. Oh, he wanted it, everything. He wanted to win there. Uh, let's see, let's see, because uh, it's going to be the stock, the Tatsumaki, and now we're we're going to see a weird matchup, I think. Uh, yeah. Yoshi, Yoshi against, uh, against Ryu is, uh, is quite uncommon to be. Yeah, Yoshi, Ryu, very interesting matchup for sure. Again, Yoshi being a fairly heavy character overall, it's going to be kind of hard to crack the shell quite literally. They're looking for the down air once again, just building up some nice, nice damage once more. The egg being thrown out to try and basically stuff out any of the recovery. Looking for the forward air once again here. Yolt looking a lot stronger right now in the closing moments of this next game once more here. King needs a miracle, needs something, needs to get in close and just build up some more damage in order to make it to that loser's finals, but Yolt is not letting it happen at the moment, Dress. Yeah, very, very good performance by by, uh, by Yolt with the Josie. He's not let uh, King touch center stage. No. He's keeping my way all the time. Now uh, he's fighting back a little bit, and this is where things get scary. Right now, I think he's in, in the kill percentage. Nice, I, nice. Think, I think Yoshi is kill percentage right now. The Shoryuken kind of doing it, but Joel is struggling to get the last kill. We saw it oh. last game. The, Wow, it is very, 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 very confusing. Wow, that is super dangerous. 143% right now. That is a rage. Ryu there, but the back end not going to kill. Good DI coming out here from King. Still alive in this match. Oh, beautiful. But the net, so far, so good. And Yolt has a game on the board. I really like how Yolt is very aggressively going off stage against uh, against King, of course. Uh, the the FTC uh, characters are 
really strong on the stage, but off stage they lack this uh, this mobility. They lack this uh, recovery options. Uh, they lack this uh, all the tools they have, and uh, and of course Joel is uh, abusing that uh, to the verge of going to the abyss with uh, with uh, Roy. We saw it as well with uh, with uh, Yoshi. Of course, both characters have great mobility. Uh, uh, Roy's recovery is not the best, but if you save the jump and you just attack once, of course, you can get back, and we saw it in this game too. Uh, I mean, this game three, sorry, uh, it's 2-1 for King right now. Uh, we're going to see uh, King's counter pick. I don't think we're going to move stages, though. No, it's PS2 again. It's PS2 once again. I doubt we're going to change stage once more. Again, both these characters and both these teams will prefer to play on this stage again. Fairly even playing field for either one of them. I mean, they've been playing so well against one another. These last two games have been fairly close as well here. We've, all, we've both gone to one character piece. It's not like it's been a crazy wash here either. So it makes sense to want to lock yourself down to PS2. And right, once again, percentage-wise, fairly even. Yeah, but I think I think uh, at one point on this matchup, uh, in this in this in this set, we're gonna see uh, the Nash shining. We haven't seen we haven't seen Yod's Nash shine so far, no. and I think it's not a matter of time that he manages to get like uh, uh, stuck with him. And uh, the moment he does it, it's going to snowball and it's going to be very complicated for King. So uh, I, I really I'm hoping to, to see a game five at the very least uh, between these two great players. So uh, so let's see because uh, uh, apparently it, it looks like it's. Uh, it, like so Joel's movement is gotten better with Ness, and he's got a little bit more distance, and that's going to be a pair that's not connecting, but the backer is wow. great tag by King. The awareness you have to have, especially with not where, really knowing where you're going to go underneath that stage, to hit that tech at the perfect time and making it back nonetheless as well. He's looking to potentially break the shield, but catching the jump there with that sure you can there. Incredible, incredible stuff there coming out from King. 134%. Idea here is obviously now just to rack up a little bit more damage on that Yoshi. You can afford to lose Ken, but not this early at the moment. Once again, Nair comes out trading an attack between both of them. 15%, 30% right now. King oh. building some more damage. Good punish off of the down B there. And so far looking a lot more comfortable than he did in the previous game. Oh no, oh. that's going to be sure you can not still not enough, but almost triple digits for uh, for Joel here with the Yoshi. It's not the desirable situation for the Italian player that uh, made a little bit of a uh, movement with his head after he lost his stock with Ness because he knew it was important to keep it. And uh, King with a great beat got his first stock. But as for now, uh, Yoshi with Rage is also very, very scary. And uh, provided that he can manage to get a little bit more uh, from that Kazuya, of course, his movement off stage is also really good. And against Kazuya, I think, I think a Yoshi off stage is very, 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 very scary for Kazuya. Absolutely. Got to be very careful with how you deal with that as well. Again, very linear recovery. As you know, the like Kazuya has their beautiful up air coming out here from King just to escape the clutches of that air. Here we go. There we go. Forward throw. Nice tech, actually. Still on the ground. Was able to survive ever so slightly. Good now. Just pushing him out very, very far. Once more here. He's going to have to wait. The delay yeah. there and a nice forward air is going to put King in the back foot, in the back seat. 193 is Yolt needs another big hit in order to make things even here but right now yo doesn't want to let that happen and now we are down to final stock a piece here king one away from securing a victory here and moving to grand finals but yo has a chance to push this to a game five address what an interesting boss option that tatsumaki just kind of securing uh uh yo second stock of course uh was something that i i think no one was expecting the burst option was like tatsumaki it's uh, if you miss the first hit of course it's really unsafe uh, but uh, I, I think Joel wasn't expecting it, and right now oh the boy. Italian, the Italian oh plays go. Oh, boy, okay. He went too deep. Uh, he's going back, yeah. but he missed the jump. He uh, lost the jump at some point during that interaction, and King lost. We're heading into game five. Okay. We're heading into game five. First one of the top four series here now, and it is going the absolute distance. Yolt able to bring it back from the absolute depths of hell has one more in order to win. King has to perse persevere, basically, if he really wants to, to guarantee himself that ticket into Grand Finals to face off against Pepper on the winner's side here today. One of these guys is going to win. There are no more games to take. Let's see who wins, loses finals here today. And again, it's very interesting that we have seen Jolt uh, not take not take a lot of advantage from that Nance. He's not... It's not working out really well for him. Yoshi, uh, Yoshi, for the Yoshi, yeah, I was yeah. about to say. Yoshi is not one of his main characters, and he's the one that's he, uh, that's been given the most credit to to Yod. So, so let's see if uh, if it's time for Ness to shine, or is it uh, not going to be the time uh, still? Of course, uh, Yod can work things out with Roy and Yoshi, but he needs Ness to be a little bit more on point.
in order to secure a little bit more of uh, damage. And it looks like we're starting with Yoshi. We are starting with Yoshi by the looks of it. And Roy and Ness. Oh, no, Ness. Ness and Oh, we are starting with Ness. Okay. Yeah, because it, it normally shows the character and then goes to the third character. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Smash. Real cool. Anyways, let's get into game <laughs> five. Grand, no, not Grand Final. Losers finals here at Icarus 2024 for Squad Strike. And already we're starting things off fairly, fairly strong. Once again, a couple falling up airs once more. And there's a little ladder to be built here at the moment. King is absolutely relentless right now, Hydra. Yeah, only 45% of course, but the character doesn't need that much to get a stock. Uh, uh, as for as for Yo, he needs to get a really nice edge guard, of course. That's the beginning of it. Just quite not getting those PK fires that could uh, that could be very, very, very bad for, for King. So so good good stuff by the Ashen Play for avoiding that. Of course, the the Hadouken kind of just staling a little bit the movement in the air, so uh, it's a little bit tricky to get those as Ness. Uh, great retaliation there by 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 Yolt, just knowing that the burst option would have been the stock. And 112 on the deck, of course, uh, Ness kind of not working again. Yeah, again, as we said before, Ness kind of always finds himself in a very disadvantaged state a lot of the time as well. Right. Yolt trying to make things happen, make things work. PK Fire going to clink with the side B there. Sees him down on the ground, but still makes it back to stage here. The up B really working out in King's favor. Sure, you can back to stage. Center stage right now in play for both of these players. You can see Yolt using the air movement to stay away as far as possible here from, from King. That's Not nice. Gonna, yeah, beautiful stage spike coming out there, and King gonna suffer for that, unfortunately. And this is the first time I think we've seen Ness take a stock on this uh, on this set. Of course, uh, yeah, Yolt hasn't yeah. been able to produce a lot with the with his main character. So well, let's see, because right now he's uh, in way better shape than in last game. So the attempt at getting a down B there and a command grab potentially for King, but wasn't able to find too much success with it. Four they're gonna trade with the first hit. Sign magnet now is gonna blow them both back right there. Once again, looking for these ledge options once more here. King playing it so patiently once more here. Yoit looking to jump around. There we are. Going to throw him at a very weird, weird angle here, Dress. But a beautiful recovery by, by Yol knowing that he was going to go deep for the nest. And this is trouble. This is double jump oh. down there. Oh, goodness. Great there by, by, uh, by Yol putting a lot of pressure and already 85% on the Kazuya. He was searching for the, for the upper fast fall into down tilts into magic. And then right now the Kazuya is in trouble, provided he gets rid of the Rage Arc. Oh, the yeah. pressure being applied right now is absolutely Back throw. incredible. Back throw is going to kill as well here now. Yo, one away from securing a grand final spot here today. Psy Magnet. King okay. able to get one, and Ness has been putting in a shift this entire game. Yeah, this is this is what I, what, what I was talking about in Game 3. Uh, he hadn't been able to have the, the Ness shine, but right now he does it. 40% already on... Uh, on the can, that's not what King wants if he wants to get uh, that second spot of the Grand Finals in which Pepo is waiting. Uh, Jolt is on a roll right now, let's see if he's capable of getting back down nice. to fair. Nice. Oh, the counter trying to be a little bit cheeky, just trying to uh, oversee a uh, uh, quick recovery by, by the can player. Of course, working things out slowly, but uh, it's looking really tough for King right now. Yeah, King has got to really dig down deep in order to make that climb up the mountain known as Yolt right now. There comes the down air, but again, Sour Spot not really able to get the spike here. The Roy putting in the work once more, looking for that up air. Again, Focus really working its magic right now. But even if throughout the Focus, you're still taking damage, you're still allowing Roy to rack up a little bit more. Even then, Yoshi is also in the back pocket if Roy does die here early once again. Focus still moving around here. King trying to be as careful as possible. There's the forward smash, and we're down to one character apiece here. We can see, we've seen what Yoshi has been capable of doing here. Just needs a little bit more left in the tank in order to absolutely take it. Book your uh -oh. ticket to Grand Finals. King starting to build up a little bit more damage once again. 32% currently. Both players smelling blood in the water. 50, 60% right now. A Ken with Rage is super scary, Dress. Yeah, only 60% on the Yoshi. You, you think you're safe with Yoshi. The upper is going to be it. The upper is going to be it. And Joel secures a 3-0 comeback against King. Securing a spot in this Grand Finals and the ability to play against uh, Pepo one more time. King did a really good job, but in the end, it was a little bit short of a win. The turntables. Tables have been turned. Yolt was able to turn it around so nicely there. Again, King had the, all the momentum in the world from that first game, shifting into second game. And then obviously things started to slowly come apart. But again, that's why we keep saying the beauty of a best of five is allowing yourself to adapt to these sorts of situations in order for yourself to then basically just come out on top. And that's exactly what Yolt was able to do.